What's good, everybody? This is the Joyful Noise podcast, the first of many. I'm one of the two hosts. I'm Bryce G. And I'm Imani. Hey, y'all. And we have a special guest today for this event that we would love to introduce y'all to. Introduce yourself, my brother. My name is Keon Boone, you know, firm firm believer of Christ Jesus, and um, I make music for the Lord. So, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir. So with this podcast, we just really want to introduce y'all to somebody that's really rocking in the game right now. So we want to we want to just let people know, like, who are you? Who is Keon Boone? Just just in a general sense. Um, I'm a I'm not too outgoing. Just uh, um, pretty laid back. Uh, I started out, you know, I grew up in church. I grew up in church with my mom and kind of uh, was forced to go. And then later on in life, moved to Atlanta. Kind of start hanging out with the wrong people, um, got in the wrong crowd, start doing drugs, start making secular music and stuff. But fast forward, found Jesus, truly found him, and just changed my whole life around and started giving him all the glory through my music. And but I'm, I'm, that's all I do really. It just I make music for the that's Lord fire. and I stay, you know. That's fire. With a simple yeah. testimony, man, goes a long way, bro. That's right. And I'm gonna be straight up because this is a this is a vulnerable, real like straight up like open podcast like this is our first time really doing this i ain't yes, gonna cap sir. like just being able to sit down and talk with my guy i wanted to make sure i had time to do that Definitely. and what better than something we can just put out to the world in the podcast because i know we're gonna have a good conversation might sure. as well share it with people so i'll tell you first off like we i know the first song i heard that really caught my attention was deliver me okay and that yeah. joint, even for me, I post content just sharing people's stuff. And that one took off on my page. But I just want to know a little bit about Deliver Me, like, wh- how that come about. So I make, I actually make all my songs, like, on live. So, like, on, I do, I record music on TikTok live. So I really just, like, let the Holy Spirit speak. So I'll find a beat or I have, like, a couple beats that I have. And I just, I put them on and then I just let the, I literally let the Holy Spirit just speak through me. Because at a point in time, like, when I made secular music, I had to be off the drugs or like be just feeling feeling a certain way or just be a, a type of lit in a sense. Yeah. But now I just get in there and just, you know, I pray before I go into every session. So before, I mean, I pray and then I, I just get in this, um, get in the um, studio and just let the Holy Spirit speak to me, deliver me. I just feel like that was that was one of the songs in the beginning. Like I, it speaks volume because because the, the, what the Lord delivered me through, like so much stuff I've been through. He just like how I got through everything, I just had to share it in a, um, in a song. Just that's why I call it "Deliver Me" because I just got delivered from so much stuff that I was that took over my life, took control of my life in the past. Like, so that's why I named that song "Deliver Me." It was really my second song dropping, so I had to come like, yeah, that's second, fine. yeah, second, yeah. Okay, Definitely. so y'all know I'm a lyric girl, and I gotta spit a couple lyrics from okay. this song, and then I'm gonna ask my question. Okay. You said, it was so many times I really was lost, asking the Lord which Which way way do do I I walk. walk. I felt convicted. I used to live deep in that sin. My life was just really the cause. Come on. Your life was the cause. Yeah. I personally know what that means Mm -hmm. and what that feels like, but I really want to ask you, what did that mean for you? At a point in time in life, I just really felt lost. Like, And I know I say that just in a song, I'm lost, but... Like I said, I was I was going through a certain point in time in my life where my family wasn't really getting along. I wasn't good mentally. I wasn't stable like mentally, and then financially, it was a time like it was just I was down a lot. So I was at that just kind of rock bottom, like at surface level. So like when when I say I'm lost, like I didn't have nothing to do but go to call on God, or I just felt like my whole life would be thrown away. Like even suicide, like suicidal thoughts used to come in my head and stuff like that but you feel me um just through Jesus that's calling on God I was I was really lost like my I wasn't stable mental right, like uh, right, mentally right. yeah nah, that's yeah. real and I think just all of us being melanated people here like it's 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 a blessing now that mental health is becoming more of a comfortable conversation definitely and I'm I'm grateful that you even to uh, you know vocalize that cuz I think everybody has those those thoughts and those feelings that can really challenge their life because it seems uncommon. But it's fun seeing, like, one, like, you share the stuff in your music. But even I, I popped up on your live, like, it's a, it's a good little community you yeah. got there. Like, where'd you get that idea from with the lives? The, um, 
honestly, I was making secular music when I started live, but like in general, cause I used to see some of my um, friends that made secular music uh, just on live recording their songs. So I was like, this is, this is a cool little way to get your music out there. So I started that. But then it, it didn't really do nothing. It didn't do too much. So when I started making music for um, for the Lord, I was like, okay, I can still do it on here, but I can also grab a community of people, and so I can start preaching a word to them, start like inviting people to the kingdom, like bringing more people out. So it just kept building up. The Lord just brought so many people, you know, so many people to um, my live, and just introducing me to a lot of people. And He just led me to start a Discord. So I started a Discord. A lot of people um, just joined. Through, through the grace of God, and they've just been tapped in with me ever since, and yeah. I just, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's so, fine. That's yeah, How old were you when you started writing? When I started, I don't even write my, <laughs> I, I say all my all my music off the uh, head, off the but okay. making music, period, yeah. um, I was like 18, but I wasn't wow. like taking it serious, I was just making it for fun, mm-hmm. talking, you know, just nonsense, and then 1920, I started make I started getting a little bit more serious with the secular music. 21, 22, or my 22, I thought it was like 20, age 21, 22, where I was like, I wonder if I should make this Christian music because I had this friend. He used to always send me songs, like send me Christian songs. I was like, I don't want to listen to this. I don't want to listen to this. And then it was one. I think it was a song by Caleb actually. Um, he had sent me. I was like, hold on, you can really make music that like sound like you feel me? Sound like the Whatever people like, but just talk glorify God through you it. Remember so remember that song? What it might be? It was it was uh evidence. what's it called? Evidence. Yeah. I just see evidence for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. That's fire. So yeah, and then twenty three, early twenty three, twenty mid twenty three is when I started making music for the Lord. So what would you describe your style? Because I know with your latest song, Surrender, you made a bold statement like don't oh, compare yeah. me to Polo G. Please. I'm Here. not him. Do <laughs> like, not compare me I'm to me. Polo G. <laughs> so, so who, like, when you when you think about your style, like, what is, what's it inspired by? Like, what's the goal? Like, what would you describe the style of your music? Um, I grew up listening to a whole bunch of music. Um, like, a lot of old school, a lot of new era. Just Give me a lot some of names, because old school is different now, because I'm 30 now. So old school for me might be different for you. Uh, I don't be knowing their names. Like uh, I can't really. I just know the song. Kind of like soul, be, though. Soul, like soul, but then like when you get a little older, I was heavy on Michael Jackson. I was like the okay. biggest Michael Jackson fan yeah. ever, and you know it was a lot of different artists too. But I that I can't get off the top of my head. Cool. But but as far as new new era, I did listen to Polo G a little bit, but I listened yeah. to all the artists, all yeah. the artists. But I would I would describe myself as like versatile because I like everything. Like I can. Yeah. I can get on a Adele type beat. Like I love Adele. Like Word. Adele, like pop, rock, rap. I just like to do it all, be like very different. So I don't like stay stagnant with my um with my genre. So I love it. Yeah. I love yes, it. Sir. What what would you say? I know this is kinda like choosing your favorite child, but what do you feel like uh is your favorite song? Like the song that kinda like you just always wanna show people. If somebody's like, show me your music, the song that you go to. All right, right now? Yeah. I go to Deliver Me. I go to Word. Deliver Me, yeah. <laughs> but now I'll probably go to Surrender, Surrender. Mm-hmm. And and one that, like, means a lot to me is probably Offering. Because, mm-hmm. like, I had to, I just wanted to really stress the fact that I'm giving myself as a, like, being a sacrifice myself to the Lord. And I said a lot of meaningful stuff in that song that yeah. really was near and dear to my heart. So, yeah. I love that was it. probably, like, the top three I'll probably. That's but Deliver up. Me is my go-to. Yeah. That's hot. Yeah. That's hot. What keeps you going in this music realm? Like when you feel like things are possibly hitting a wall or like people aren't taken to it as you think maybe they should because, you know, you're putting your heart on a beat, right? right? Mm -hmm. But what keeps you going in that process, in that journey? Just the fact that I'm still here because part of my testimony, which you'll hear tonight in a song, it's called, I got a song called Testimony. And it's just a long story to it. I'm gonna probably tell a little story before the song start, but I wasn't really supposed to be here because my mom had got in an accident and um, I just wasn't breathing in her stomach. My heart wasn't beating at all. So it just took prayer and her being obedient to the Lord because she was hearing from the Lord to what to pray over herself while she was in that um, in the hospital on um, bed. Wow. So just the fact that I'm able to be here to do this podcast, that's I look back at that all the time. Just the fact that my heart was not beating. They, doctors checked over and over three times this took them three times and then they they were even shocked that my heart started beating and wow. I just I just praise God for that every day and every time yes. I make a song any situation so that's I what I, that's what keep me going I 
I love that. Because God wanted me here still. So. Amen. Glad yes, to have sir. you here, man. I, you. I think as we wrap things up, like, what are some things you're excited for for tonight? What are the things you just imagine doing and as we See, talk about the performance? This is my first show, but I feel like the Lord here, this presence, going to lift or fill the room. I, I want to just not have a show, but, like, hopefully the music can minister to people. Yes. Um, let them hear some words and get encouraged. And even if they're not fully giving their life to God, to hear it and be like, I can do this. I can do this too. Like so, just really for encourage encouragement and just gathering people for the kingdom and just having a good time. Like, Dope. yeah, Dope. definitely. So, man, I appreciate it. And I would say one thing I always want to like ask an artist is just what we want to tell like you know your audience, like your people, maybe some people that look up to you or that's kind of wanting to learn like how to get to where you're going because obviously like you on the grind like you mm -hmm. building but Definitely. you still got some wisdom to share so what what's some words you want to share to people it's, it sounds cliche but it's cool. uh it sounds cliche but literally keep going don't stop and uh always talk to god about anything you think that's troubling you or um that you have struggled with and pray before everything keep prayer in your life and uh like I said, if you're stressing or any any type of problem, because I, I used to be down like that and always in my head, but I had to just really give all, put all my problems at Jesus' feet and just believe in him that I'm able to do what he called me to do. So I would just say literally just keep going and That's believe right. in God. For yeah, sure. Well, Keon Boone, Jacksonville's yes, finest, sir. you know, the kingdom of heaven's finest, my dog. I'm excited to rock with you tonight. Me too. Yes, sir. All right, brother. Appreciate you. Can't wait to hit them holy hips. Yeah. Holy hips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all heard it here first. Keon Boom, Bryce G. Imani. And this is the Joyful Noise Podcast. We're going to see y'all tonight. The live stream is going. We got the performances coming up. And we look forward to partying with y'all. Take care.